Well, hello, my name is Eric Usher. I'm the head of the UNEP Finance Initiative. And on behalf of the whole UNEP FI team, we'd like to send a big welcome to distinguished guests, including our valued members, sustainable finance experts globally, and leaders from the UN and beyond. A thank you to our partners, Responsible Investor and Sintel Green Finance, and to our gold sponsors, Moody's and RepRisk, and silver sponsors, Carbon Trust. We're really, really excited after 15 biennial global roundtables that today we go full virtual for our 16th. Now this year has been certainly so very challenging for so many people, for industries and, and communities. What's clear is that the finance industry has stepped up and kept this economy functioning, working closely with government. When the pandemic is going to be defeated remains anyone's guess, but in a world of uncertainty, what we know is that the role of responsible finance, the sharpening of the ESG agenda to deliver real world impacts and the alignment of portfolios with international frameworks to protect people and planet are more critical than ever. Our sustainable relationship, our unsustainable relationship with nature got us into this mess. And as we build back better, decisions will need to be made whether to prop up the destructive industries of the past or to invest in transforming our economies of the future. We're in the deep throes of three planetary crises, a changing climate, nature loss, and pollution all around us, while the social fabric is fraying and democratic institutions are tested. There are no short-term fixes for us here, but over the coming two days, we have leaders from the UN, from central banks, the scientific community, and the financial industry trying to make sense of this new abnormal. Over 120 speakers, thousands of participants with one global purpose, to help and see the financial industry lean in and become a future maker in financing a sustainable recovery that leaves no one behind. In terms of priorities, a number of themes will cut across the session, that of risk assessment and disclosure, impact analysis, target setting, and finally, portfolio and institutional alignment to some of society's greatest challenges. All of this now has a post-pandemic recovery lens and will need to be part of the financial sector's role in building a future that is more resilient to green swans. Those risks posed by the triple environmental crisis I mentioned, by biodiversity, um, the widening wealth and digital gaps in society and more. I'm so pleased that we have with us those who have played such a formative role in establishing the global frameworks that today our collective efforts are dedicated to deliver on. Shortly, it'll be my privilege to hand over to the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Amina Mohammed, who was instrumental in the development of and today drives global efforts to achieve the sustainable development goals and to leave no one behind. We'll also hear from the architect of the Paris Agreement, Cristiano Figueres, and my executive director, Inger Anderson, who leads the global environmental agenda as head of UN Environment Program. Elizabeth Marema, executive director of the Convention on Biological Diversity, will speak on the post-2020 biodiversity framework that is currently in the works and which cannot be achieved without the role of the financial sector. Christine Lagarde will weigh in on efforts of the European Central Bank to ensure a climate smart, smart recovery in the EU and Kristalina Georgieva will speak of, UNF, of IMF actions to support developing economies. So there's a common thread here, which I'm sure you're getting. Never before have we seen such a strong group of women leaders who have been called on to sort out the mess we've gotten ourselves into. The finance industry really needs to take notice and needs to step up. And I'm just getting started. I'll be speaking shortly with Mark Carney, who's done more to awaken the industry to climate risks than anyone. And speaking of risks to the planet, we'll have Johan Rockström, one of the world's foremost scientists known for leading development of the Planetary Boundaries Framework. And we're going to hear, of course, from many leaders from across the finance industry. Shortly, we'll have five banking sector CEOs and signatories to the Principles of Responsible Banking speaking on progress since their launch last year. Signatories to this sustainability framework already represent 40% of global banking assets and collectively serve 1.6 billion uh, people. How they implement the principles will matter for generations to come. 
Nigel Topping, the high-level climate action champion for COP26, will be talking the race to net zero with a panel of leading investors, insurers, and bankers. On this session, Gunter Tallinger, chair of the Net Zero Asset Owner Alliance, will release for public consultation the protocol for translating their long-term 2050 commitment into tangible targets for 2025 and ultimately near-term action across their portfolios. UN Chief Economist Elliot Harris will put meat on the bones of building back better, drawing on a cross-section of finance entity representatives and a report released today on building a greener recovery and learning from lessons from the last crisis. Sir Ronald Cohen and Fiona Reynolds will discuss creating impact to drive change, and David Blood will review the fiduciary duty and legal implications of this impact orientation. We'll hear about financing the circular economy, with today seeing the launch of our first major report in that area. We'll talk mainstreaming climate risk disclosure, including TCFD scenario analysis, with a new report and online tool on transition risk assessment. We'll hear from Vicky Robertson from New Zealand, the first country in the world to mandate TCFD disclosures. We'll hear from Com uh, Commissioner Benham of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission on their important report on managing climate risk in the US financial system. We'll hear from Frank Elderson on the network for greening the financial system and from Jeff Summerhays on the Sustainable Insurance Forum. Tomorrow, you'll hear about financing in the blue or ocean economy and emerging approaches to setting biodiversity targets. We'll explore sustainability priorities for the life and health insurance industry, something certainly relevant today, and the development of insurance sustainable development goals. The 16th Global Roundtable is held under the theme of financing a resilient future. It's an objective that is so apt for the industry today. We hope you will join us to pick up the pace of this recovery sprint and marathon sustainability journey. Now it's my immense privilege to introduce the De Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Aminu Mohammed, to formally open this Global Roundtable on behalf of the United Nations system.